Hello everyone, welcome to Baiju's exam prep. So I am here to tell you about the PG admission that is the MTech admission in the IIT Delhi. So the information brochure has already been released in the website of the IIT Delhi. So because you know that the scorecard has already come, now this is the season where you are going to prepare for the interview, you are going to look for the admission in the different different IITs. So one by one, each IIT will release their information brochure and I will come in front of you to give that particular information. So this particular brochure you can download because this is around 70 pages. So I cannot cover all the 70 pages. So what you have to do, you have to download this information brochure by going into the uh, MTech admission IIT Delhi. You can also search it in the Google. Uh, PG admission or MTech admission in IIT Delhi, then you, it will directly lead you to the uh, uh, direct website where you can download this information brochure. So the important highlights I am going to tell you here. The first thing here you can see this is a table of content given. So what are the different things they have given admission procedure and the requirements for the PhD admission, MTech admission, MS admission, MDES that is Master of Design, MSc program and Master of Public Policy. So this is important for us that what are the admission procedure for the different different programs. So that is what we have to see. Then it is the reservation of the seats is also given. The registration for the courses, what are the courses they actually uh, give that is also given. Fees and payments, stipend etc. What is the final assistance that will be provided refund of his application procedure that is important for us and then most importantly here the gate score cutoff is also given for the last year because most of you uh, know about the procedure but uh, you are also looking for the cutoff of the previous uh, year so uh, that for that you might be searching in the google but there is no need to search anywhere because the iits are announcing it officially in the end of their information brochure. So I will also discuss that cutoff mark for the non-sponsor full-time MTech programs in the last academic year. So that is we will also discuss. Okay. So what are the important highlights? That is the important highlight you can see here. First of all, the submission of online application will commence from uh, 14th of March. So it has already been started and last date for the submission is 30 March. Okay, so remember these dates and the range of date for interview and test because there will be uh, some branches for which the interview will happen and there will be some branch for only direct in, uh, admission will be there and everything will be in between 16 May to 16th of June and orientation of and result will be announced as COAP and the orientation of, for the new PG student suppose you take the admission you want to uh, book the seat. So if you book the seat then uh, after you paying the fees etc then you will be getting the uh, orientation program in the July 20th and registration also been done in the 21st and 22nd July and from the 24th of July the classes will be started for your MTech PhD or MSc or MS. Okay so these are some brochures the detail of the IIT Delhi is are given and uh, what is the location, campus, how many hostels are there, etc. Every detail is given. So that is the admission procedure for the PhD program. For the PhD program, what is the coursework and other academic requirement uh, that we can see here is about the admission to the PhD program. Admission to the PhD program is normally made on the basis of interview of the eligible candidates conducted by the department through its department research committee. Okay, and uh, there will be multiple interviews, written tests, etc. For the PhD, there will be separate written test interview, and uh, your main course will be uh, with the MTech uh, first semester students. You will also do the coursework, and after that, you will start doing your research. Okay, so that is all given in this part. Uh, admission schedule normally, PhD students are advanced advertised in the month of March and October each year. So there are two uh, times you can take the admission for the PhD. The test and uh, interview are carried uh, in all the IITs in the month of uh, May and December. Okay, that is also done in the IIT Delhi. So duration of the program minimum uh, period of the registration uh, required for the 
स्टूडेंट्स विद द एमटेक इज 2 ईयर एंड विद बीटेक और इक्विवेलेंट क्वालिफिकेशन इज 3 ईयर एंड ऑल द कैंडिडेट्स आर अलाउड अ मैक्सिमम ऑफ 7 इयर्स फॉर द सबमिशन ऑफ देयर थीसिस सो मैक्सिमम ऑफ 7 ईयर इट विल टेक टू कंप्लीट योर पीएचडी मिनिमम क्वालिफिकेशन रिक्वायर्ड टू फुल टाइम पीएचडी दैट इज योर क्वालिफाइंग डिग्री शुड बी एमटेक विद द 60% मार्क इन द एमटेक और इन द सीजीपीए इट इज 6 and uh, msc mba that is also given and be or equivalent is also there but with the if you are qualifying degree is b or btech with the 70% marks in the uh, btech and uh, you have also qualified gate csir ugc net nc and uh, other uh, dst inspire fellowship program then also you can apply for the phd okay so there are some relaxations are given that i am not taking now for the Uh, phd program here the qualification is me mtech is also okay btech with gate score and uh, work experience one year one year two year and uh, if you are having for admission for the for admission to part time program okay if you want to do the part time phd then you should have this much experience along with this much qualification okay mtech for admission to the part time program that is mtech also uh you can perform, uh, apply for the part time that is your b btech is required and 6 months experience is required and these are the relevant uh, essential qualifications or minimum qualifications okay that sponsor full time candidates you can read again here what is the requirement of a sponsor full time and the part time candidates then coming to the mtech part the mtech or ms you can apply what is the eligibility the eligibility is the eligibility is btech bsc uh, btech msc degree holder for uh, of a particular discipline are eligible for admission to one or more program the list of the programs are given in the lecture 3 program duration will be around a four semester for full time and six semester for the part time if you want to do the mtech for uh, from the part time then you can do with the minimum qualific uh, experience i have already discussed and that is minimum of 3 years admission schedule normally mtech and uh, mtech and uh, admissions will be happen after the interview and the test carried out in the month of may and it is uh, followed by the october also and uh, that you can read again so this is the minimum qualification let's go into the table yeah so minimum qualification for the full time mtech is program where you are taking admission is mtech and you need a btech qualification and uh, you should have the 60% marks in your btech and valid gate score and uh, if you want to take uh, admission in the mdes then again btech or bds you should have 60% marks with the valid seed score for the mdes students there is a separate exam which is seed so seed score is required and if you are iit graduate then you can directly take the admission with the cgpa of 8 so these are the few Uh, yes minimum qualification for the admission to a part time and sponsor a full time mtech program so this is also you can see uh, if you have the someone who can sponsor you that as an organization so only employees of the public sector undertaking uh, developments or the private industries approved by the faculty boards are eligible for admission to these programs employees of only those organization which are located within the 50 km from the iit delhi are eligible for the part time and the minimum experience required is as on the that we have discussed minimum qualification also we have discussed in that particular table okay now coming to the different programs that we have discussed and now coming to the different programs that is present so that is about the fees of the iit delhi first two year registration assistant ship amount that is for the phd phd you will get 31000 per month and 35000 per month after two years okay so this is a application procedure yes here you can see from here you can apply for the particular program in the mtech itdelhi.ac.in/pgadmission.phd refund of fees 
the whole amount of fees will be deposited by the candidates will be refunded after the deduction of 1000 suppose you have uh, submit uh, uh, deposited the fees and you want to change your it or you have uh, changed the plan of doing mtech and now you are suppose again want to prepare for the next year um, because of psu or some other reason then all the fees will be refunded after deducting the 1000 rupees Separate application form for MS, separate application for MDES, separate application for PhD, and separate application for MTech. Okay, so these are the uh, in the MTech program specifically they have bolded. You can again read this one. Separate application form should be filled for each MTech program. Suppose you want to do the MTech, uh, want to apply MTech in the two different uh, program, then again you have to fill the two different forms. So these are the uh, telephone or contact number for the different department and uh, these are the different departments for electronics there are four to five different uh, departments this is for electrical engineering you can have the circuit system and device engineering power engineering and uh, communication computer engineering control engineering okay these are the program where you can do the tech for mechanical physics everything is given here management studies textile okay so you can go through it one these are not important because when you will apply it, it you will automatically get it these are the uh, programs that is offered that in uh, in short you can see from here suppose your branch is uh, chemical engineering then this is che civil engineering then these are the two different uh, department or multiple departments actually one two three four five six seven eight in these all uh, you can apply and if you are from uh, electrical then communication computer technology and this is power electronic and power machine power system integrated electronics these are there okay and uh, these are some uh, interdisciplinary branch also you will get the ms research that is your this is the vdtt which is very important for uh, electronics students okay that is interdisciplinary program which has very good placement that is mtech the instrumentation technology of the uh, telecommunication jtm so these all are very important branches if you are from electronics now uh, these are the table where you can do this program code is given and discipline means suppose uh, the program code is already given here okay that code in which code you want to apply suppose you want to apply in jvl then for jvl you can see what is the mini, uh, minimum qualification so this is jvl you can see from here this is jvl so for JVL computer science student, electrical engineering students, instrumentation students, these uh, they are, can apply in this particular branch like that. Okay. So now this is about the cutoff. You might be waiting for this. So this is the cutoff. Okay, for the MTech program in the academic year last uh, academic year. Suppose uh, let's take any example of the branch which. Uh, we are interested in this is the communication engineering 600 for electrical 700 computer technology 620 for ec double e double e ec students can also apply control and automation then ec students integrated electronics and circuits 700 uh, 800 800 for the other branches and for ec branch which is 6 700 like that you can go and check the uh, solid state materials that is also for double ec 700 so for all the specialization what is the cutoff you can easily check uh, you should not go anywhere and you can directly check through this information brochure for all this vdt also that can be applied by ec ec students which is uh, who is having 700k score according to the category also it is given na? so i am just uh, talking about the general but it is given in the as a category also the category is also given that is generally ws obc sc st and ph okay so that is the syllabus for msc and uh, admission important uh, information so this is all about the admission procedure of iit delhi so go through it once this brochure is important and uh, obviously when you read it you will know about IIT Delhi more and you will be having more interest of taking admission into the IIT Delhi. So when you read uh, information brochure, when you come to know about the IIT, uh, you will 
uh, be more connection uh, you will be more connected with that particular iit so uh, before going to take the admission in any iit uh, just go through this brochure once you will have very good feeling thank you and all the best